Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, you're welcome to today's class, and today we're treating uh, some jump um, life equations on biology, okay? And uh, the first question here, these are prob uh, probably two Wait, questions you, you can see as you prepare for jump. So the first one here we have is that the number of alleles controlling blood groups in humans is how many number? A, we have three, B, we have four, C, we have five. D we have to well, now to answer these questions in the, um, the blood system we have about three types of um, allergies okay and the uh, allergies are the A the allergies are the A the B and what the O so we have about three words number of allergies controlling A B and O so we have one here and the answer is what a. So the second question says, if both parents are heterozygous for a trait, the probability that an offspring will be recessive for that trait is A, 3 over 4, B, 1 over 2, C, 1 over 4, D, 1. I don't know if we have any approach to this. Do you have to solve this? Okay, so what do you do now? First of all, you know, um, what I tell people to do is this, whenever you see a question, you try to read the question first of all. Understand the question then. So the second question is this. It said, if both parents are heterozygous for a trait, it said, the probability that an offspring will be recessive for that trait is A, 3 over 4, B, 1 over 2, C, 1 over 4, D, 1. So what do you think will be the answer? You have an answer to this question. Uh, one over four. four. One over four. four. Okay, let's go and see how it goes. So it said equal yeah. parents. First of all, understand the question. Okay. Equal parents are what? Okay. Yeah. 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 So let's assume the dominance. The dominance. The dominant trait. Dominant trait. The dominant trait is what? Let's use A for dominant, okay? Then let's use small a for what? Recessive. You understand it? Okay. 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 So the question says, if both parents are heterozygous for a three. So meaning the father is heterozygous. And the mother is what also what? Heterozygous, right? So what do we do? We're going to separate them out. So let's go. So I'm going to go here, cross this way. Then yeah, this one cross this over here. So we have the possible outcomes as AA, then it will let us A, and we have also AA, and also what? Recessive AA. So the question says, if both parents are heterozygous for the traits, the probability that an offspring will be recessive, will be recessive for that trait is. Now, you know what's a recessive trait, right? Mm -hmm. huh? You know what's a recessive trait? Mm -hmm. uh, trait. Okay, let me say for instance, in my family, my grandma is very, she's fair in complexion, and my dad, my granddad is uh, actually dark in complexion. And also me, I'm dark, right? Yes. But I have the trait of fairness in me. But it's recessive, it's not appearing, it's not, like I said, dominant, it did not actually come up with that. But if possible, I get married to a dark one or so. I can see if it's fair. Do you understand? So, about recessive, it's not expressed. Okay, fully expressed. So, from this now, the offspring that is recessive to this trait is what? This one, right? How many of them? One. So, out of the four possible outcomes now, we're going to have one about what? Four, right? And that will give us what? 0 0.25, isn't it? Or 25. That will be 40. If you divide it, it's going to give us 0 0.25. That's down to division 4 here, 1, 0, 0, 2, 8, 2, 20, 25. So 0 0.25. So our answer here is what? 1 over 4, okay? Oh. And the next question says yeast respects anaerobically to convert simple sugar to carbon, four oxide, and dash. Now, what it means is this 
In the absence of oxygen, the word anaerobes or anaerobic means what? In the absence of oxygen. Now, if there is, if the yeast respires in the absence of oxygen, what will it respire with? Carbon dioxide, right? Carbon dioxide. So, in the absence of oxygen, this yeast will not respirate with what? CO2. That's going to give us a. When this yeast res respirates with um, CO2, carbon dioxide, to convert it to sugar, and that sugar is um, glucose, okay? To not convert the glucose to what and what? To what? Produce something called alcohol, okay? To give us CO2 and alcohol. So when we have C6, H2O6, reacting with, with um, yeah, it's going to give us CO2 and what? An alcohol, that's C2H5OH. Now this kind of alcohol is called what? An ethanol, okay? This is an ethanol. Oh. Okay, so we have A, alcohol, B, oxygen, and D, I think I made it, C. C should be water. So, our uh, option here, we have A, alcohol, B, oxygen, C, water. So, the answer here is what? Alcohol. That's an ethanol. That's an alcohol. That's C2, H5, O2. And the last question here, Shiva says, the process one, plasmodium plasmatarium, is transmitted by A, the female allotonics, mosquito, B, female Aedes mosquito, C, female Aedes mosquito, D, female black fly. Now, what's, what's, how to approach this question is just very simple. They wrote the species name and the genus name just to confuse you. Okay, it's normal plus module, but the species name and the genus name is what? That's what we That's the closest mosquito, okay? Sorry, I'm going to malaria. So we have A, the female and the B, female Aedes mosquito, C, female Aedes mosquito, D, female black fly. So our answer here is what? Female and the Okay? So um, thank you for watching. And also I want to I want to ask that you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to every way to Google If you found value in this video, do it to share, comment. And also if you have a question, you want us to solve questions regarding some jam um, questions, jam biology questions, you can do it to share that in the comment section. See you soon. Thank you.